Till now, we have discussed the total surface area and the lateral surface area of a cuboid and of a cube. In this video tutorial, let's talk about the total surface area and the lateral surface area of a cylinder. Imagine that you are holding a cylindrical can or box in your hand. It should not be hollow. Okay. Now you cut it, this can, cylindrical can, and just open the sheet. The sheet that you'll get will be of a rectangular shape. So if the height of this cylindrical can or box was H, then this width in the case of this rectangular sheet will also be H, right? You cut from here, you open it, it takes uh, the form of a rectangular sheet. Okay, the shape of a rectangular sheet. Now, we want to talk about the first, the lateral surface area and the, or the curved surface area. Lateral or the curved surface area. The lateral surface area or the curved surface area of a cylinder is actually this round shaped, you know, the round shaped area that you are, you can see here. Okay. So that doesn't include the circular area of this top and the circular area of this bottom. That doesn't include that. It only includes the area of this rounded shape. Okay. So when we cut it open into a rectangular sheet, then we can easily calculate the lateral or curved surface area. How? If this was your cylinder, then we can easily measure its radius. So imagine that the center was here and you calculate its radius. You calculate its radius. Let's say the radius of this cylindrical can or uh, the box is R. Okay. If this is R, then tell what will be the circumference of this circular base. Circumference of this circular base. Circumference of the circular base. that will be equal to 2 pi r. That is the formula we know. The circumference of a circle is given by 2 pi r, where r is the radius of, a, of the circle. Now, the circumference means what? The length of this boundary of this circle, the length of this boundary of this circle. Therefore, when you cut this cylinder and open this, and when it takes the shape of a rectangle, then tell me if this is the boundary of the circle when you open this don't you think that from here to here this length will also be actually equal to 2 pi r why the circumference of the circle is 2 pi r that is the length of this boundary is 2 pi r so when you open this this is the length which was this side is actually the circular base in this case okay so now we have this rectangular sheet whose width is h and the length is 2 pi r. What will be the area of this rectangular sheet? What will be the area of this rectangular sheet? The area of this rectangular sheet will be length multiplied by breadth. That's the area of a rectangle. What's the length? Length is 2 pi r. What's the breadth? Breadth is h. Therefore, the area in this case, you get 2 pi r h. Okay. Therefore, the area of this rectangular sheet is actually the area, the lateral or the curved surface area of this cylinder. Can you imagine when we get, cut it open and this takes the shape of a rectangular sheet, then this area, the area of this rectangular sheet is actually what? The lateral or the curved surface area of this cylinder. Therefore, area lateral or the curved surface area of a cylinder is given by 2 pi r h. Remember, the lateral or the curved surface area, just like in the case of cuboid or cube, 
doesn't contain the top area and the bottom area. We exclude it. So when you exclude it, the lateral or the curved surface area will be actually the area of this rectangular sheet. So this is clear. Now what about the total surface area? The total surface area. Well, the total surface area will be actually what? Area of this top circular base. So if this is the radius, then don't you think that the radius of the top surface will also be the same, right? Because the top surface and the bottom surface are exactly the same, same size, same shape, completely identical. So pi r squared plus the lateral or the curved surface area 2 pi r h plus pi r squared that is the area of this base. Okay, so pi r squared, pi r squared means 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h. Now we can write this as 2 pi r multiplied by r plus 2 pi r h. Now in this expression, 2 pi r is common. So if we take 2 pi r as common, then this is r plus h. Which property have we used here? We have used the distributive property of multiplication or addition. Therefore, the total surface area of a cylinder is given by this formula 2 pi r multiplied by r plus h. It's very easy to learn this formula. Only thing is you should know how we have derived this formula. Area of the top surface plus lateral surface area plus the area of the bottom surface. So two circular areas and this lateral or curved surface area and we finally get this formula. So this is the formula to calculate the lateral or curved surface area of a cylinder and this formula gives us the total surface area of a cylinder.